I'm Dr. E.T. and this is an intro to Snowflake Multi-Teach, a teaching and learning suite often bundled with interactive displays that supports the best practices in educational pedagogy. Our goal is to arm you with the tools that you need to have a successful conversation with a teacher, IT administrator, or policymaker. So let's get started. So this is a quick tutorial of Snowflake Multi-Teach. What you can see here is a number of apps, um, tools, creative, math, science, um, and these are all just uh, apps that are immediately available. In addition, there's this uh, menu in the, in the bottom uh, corners that allows you to rotate the screen. So for example, if you're using a tabletop, uh, it makes it really easy to do that. Classroom engagement is all about making the curriculum relevant to students' lives today. That's why we created Snowflake Multi-Teach, to be a powerful tool for learning through interactive storytelling. So for example, a collage of media can include videos, slides, PDFs, as well as images and drawings. So I'm going to start the media application, uh, very similar to like a photo collage, uh, and it just allows you to add a number of images or videos, uh, for example, um, you know, directly, and you can manipulate them, you know, using multi-touch gestures. Uh, but one of the cool things about this is you can organize them really easily just by uh, choosing a grid view, or if you want, you can lay them out in a um, in a horizontal view, for example. And if you want to see them as a presentation, you can make them full screen so that you can easily move from uh, one slide to the next. You can very easily clear the workspace so that you can load up another uh, set of images and videos. So, uh, for example, this set. and It also works with PDFs as well. So here's an example of it working with a PDF. So here's a, a video. Here's a PDF with a number of pages as well. So it just shows you page navigation and what that looks like. And, and of course, you can write directly on the uh, PDF if you want to highlight a particular area. Um, it does give you that, uh, the really simple method of doing that. And you can see that the annotation comes back when you go back to the same page. Okay, now in the bottom right corner, there is a close button, and this allows you to close the app. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here, is I'm just going to press close. A mind map in nodes allows you to show relationships between media. The next application that I'm going to demonstrate is the nodes application. So that's the one on the right here. And when it loads up, it opens up kind of a, a generic canvas that I can add new content to. But I'm going to just load uh, an existing mind map that's already been created. This mind map is kind of like a mind map of mind maps. So uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, here it is. So uh, this coastal erosion example um, contains a number of really great examples. So here with the student guide, I can just um, open it up and it says like inside the document, here's the things that you need to do. And not only that, this actual each node itself contains a PDF document. So if I uh, click on the full screen tab and when it opens up this document, uh, you can see that I actually have all of the different pages, and so it has all the instructions that I can I can read directly from uh, from this tool. Um, so, in addition, there are some examples such as this uh, problem. So, if I click on problem, you can see it's actually a kind of meta node that has a bunch of nodes al already around it. And so here I can click on any one of them to go, here's the recommended solution. And you can see that uh, some of the other nodes move out of the way so that it just makes it so that there's minimal overlap in terms of the text. Um, here is like related STEM careers. And you can see there's a number of options as well. And it pushes the, the content out of the way. Now that's just in the view mode. But if I click on edit mode, you can see I can edit things like the content. I can add new connections. So if I wanted to take this one and I want to add a connection, I can just with the plus symbol, you can see I can draw a connection, like a parent-child connection. To edit the content, I can add media. Similarly to how you would add um, kind of videos or content from your Dropbox, for example, I can I can do that very easily. So here I'll just open up the uh, multi-teach video. And you see, OK, yeah, I've got the video uh, down there. So it's just very easy. Adding text is just a matter of adding some uh, 
adding some text, and that's pretty much it. The classroom attendees can create a collage together using the Snowflake remote application that allows images to be uploaded directly from the camera roll of any iOS or Android device. Out of the box, we support safe image search directly in any content browser, and those working with Google Drive and Dropbox will be pleased to know that you can import files directly from your cloud storage, making it easy to collect images and content from the entire class. Adding content into media is actually quite easy. You just click the Add Files in the top. In addition to just finding a file on your Google Drive, Dropbox, or your hard drive, you can also search, do a uh, web search. So here I'll just um, search photosynthesis, and you can see I can find a number of images. I just choose one of the images that I want uh, to have appear here, and you'll see that that image is now uh, present inside the list of media, and I can just touch and I can drag that. Uh, I can make it bigger. There's also content that can be added from the mobile device. So here uh, I can see I'm connected with Snowflake Remote using my mobile device and I can hit the image and I can add an image fairly easily. So I just click on an image. It says, hey, you have received new content. And you can see now this image comes from a mobile device and I can decide where does this image belong in my, in my collage. And so you can have uh, contributions from a number of different students. Uh, you can see I've added another piece of content. Uh, and here, you know, you can see I can uh, quickly add, you know, different pieces of content uh, just very easily, you know, through my camera roll. Every age and subject has different needs. And that's why MultiTeach offers a unique configurator that allows the teacher to select the appropriate scaffolds of tools and content for their classroom. It also provides a large selection of free vetted lessons that are available through the MultiTeach Lessons community using the Lessons app. So let's take a look at the Lessons application. And here you can see a number of lessons that I have already created. If I want, I can quickly search for um, lessons uh, just that I've created, such as this volcano one. Uh, but here what I'm going to focus on is the community lessons. So there's a large number of lessons just already created uh, in the, the community. So if I want to search a topic, uh, let's call it plant, plant life cycles. So there's already a, a match example created. So I, I just push the button to download it and it says, oh, there's the plant life cycles. And so I can say, yep, let's load up that lesson because it downloads it to my set of lesson list and that's it. I'm starting to play it. And so it has, you know, different life cycles, it will tell me if I'm getting it right or if I'm getting it wrong. Um, I can turn that on so I can get that feedback. So, ooh, did I get this one right? Oh, no, not doesn't belong there. That one belongs here, no. And so it gives me that option to, to see the feedback. History. Or if I'm looking for good geography examples, those are available as well. So here, uh, I just have a number of examples. Like these are active lessons. Lessons Online is the only EdTech tool that enables the creation of active multi-touch lessons right from a mobile phone, tablet, Chromebook, and browser using content directly from your camera roll. If you want to learn more about our mobile versions of Lessons Online, then I'll leave a link to the video in the description below. Lessons can be downloaded and modified directly inside the MultiTeach Lessons app. If I click on the configure button on beside any of the applications, I can quickly find out what type of application category they are. I think this one was a match. So I use this lesson type and I can retake the content and I can move it to a different uh, template very easily. And so match is a pair one, pair two. So this one is the pair one, it's the cone and the image. And then uh, pair two is the plant structure that makes seeds. And so you can see that it's just fairly simple. It's just like a table uh, of stuff. And if I want to add new content, like for example, if I want to change this one and I want to search uh, pine cones, um, you see, I find an image. Let's choose that one. 
it will download it and it's just immediately available. And so here I push the button and I say, yep, this is groups. And when I see it, I can see that there's a number of groups already created with a number of words that are connected with each individual and um, a description of what that is to do. So here I can see like there's an image associated with each one. If I want, I can I can play, I can hit play. I go, okay, am I in the right spot? Um, so it gives me that ability. I can choose, yep, do I have check or X? You know, outdoor job. Right, and so it gives me some sense, and the words are there as well. So if I want, I can also change the font size. So maybe I make them large, and you can see, oh, okay, so that's that's what those were saying, right? So it gives you um, some idea of whether or not I got them right. If I push this tab, and then existing slide presentations leave many students behind. With the growing amount of educational content available on the internet, these presentation tools don't reflect the choices available to today's learners. So Snowflake MultiTeach enables learners to choose the learning materials that works best for them. So for example, it's easy to split the screen into four zones so that each can work independently on separate zones as, say, an activity table. So here, I'm going to split the number of zones into four, the screen, into four different zones. And each one of them has the full complement, uh, the full menu selection. So here, if I want to do uh, math, like a number of math-related activities, I can do that on each screen. So uh, let's do math. So here, uh, maybe I'll have the number play on this one, do the clock on this one, and maybe numbers on this one. Having the, the different views here, I can rotate the windows. So here I can take this window and I can rotate it, I can take this window, uh, I can also rotate it. So now it's all set up for a tabletop orientation so people can work from, from different angles. And I think that's something that's pretty unique. Uh, I haven't seen that in any of the software that exists today. Or they could work together, gathering information for a node's mind map. Zones now has the ability to take any zone and make it full screen. This makes it easy to highlight the important points during a presentation. Annotations work across zones, and so does the video recording. So it's easy to tell a story even if you have split the screen. So with the annotations, I can very easily say, well, where was where was this image located? So I can draw uh, an image of where this was taken. I can also say, well, what animals are affected you know, by them? So I can take content from different applications. I could even throw in, let's say I wanted to clear the screen. And now instead of this particular activity, um, close that, I want to open up just a web browser. So what I can do is go into my uh, set of tools and I can open up a web browser. This makes it easy to uh, to bring in the content that you think is, is most relevant. And it's not a pre-structured format. You can reformat it. If you want to take, let's say, I want to take this video and I, I really want it to go full screen, it's very easy for me to that hit play on this video. 28% of our coastline is affected in some way by erosion. So, you know, that's that's very easy to do. And then I can go back and go, okay, leave full screen, but then I haven't lost any of my content. So here, if I wanted to go, okay, now let's focus right now on the, uh, let's spend some time focusing on this uh, mind map. And, you know, maybe I need to add some content. That's fairly easy to do. So I can swap and I can leave full screen, or maybe I need to quickly show something on the map. You know, that's just something that's fairly easy to do. Uh, to go in and out of full screen. So here, if I start recording, it'll say it's recording in a few seconds. And then here, if I do the swapping to full screen, you'll actually find that it's recording the entire screen. So I can do a presentation where I go in and out of full screen on multiple views, uh, kind of like I do here. Um, However, video, rates... right? And then I can switch back to leaving the full screen and I can go this one. So it just gives me the ability to switch between them fairly easily. 
So uh, that's some of the uh, the capabilities. If I'm done, I can just push stop recording. according to location. So this is just an introduction to Snowflake Multi-Teach. I'll put a link in the description below for more detailed tutorials. Thanks very much.